My primary purpose is to make money today, to talk to people, make offers every day. Mm-hmm. I just submitted two offers, but I'm just amazed. I picked up the phone and called somebody. I initiated this. And this is the one thing I want everybody to do. Pick up the phone, talk to people. And then if you need a contractor, you need a lawyer, you need a title company, you can find these people because the pressure is now on, right? Yes. Isn't it amazing yes. what you can do when you put a little pressure on yourself? Yeah, when you put a little have to. Exactly. Yeah, uh, like exactly. I have to get this done. That's great. Hey, yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt or intrude or anything, but I was listening to you about team building and stuff. I always, I believe in a team of one or maybe two. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's get that. <laughs> wow, really, oh, step. No, no dinner for me. No dinner for you. Oh, God. No soup yeah. for you. No soup for you. Seinfeld episode. But yeah. seriously, that's the team. I think mm-hmm. we're so worried about the web pages, the applications, the scraping. We're so distracted with so many different things. And there's a lot of gurus who are telling people, you got to build your team and have all this stuff. And I agree. You need these people. Yeah. But, you, but what do you need first? A deal. The deal. And like I was telling Paul, you build as you go. A- amen, brother. That's yeah. a smart word. Smart. Yeah. You folks listen to this man. He knows what he's saying here. <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention get your sale make a sale and then Mm -hmm. oh my god i've got two weeks to get the place painted to get the carpets fixed to do a title check oh my god you are going to get more done in the next 24 (laughs) hours than you've ever done in your life so Clive, would you find a deal first or would you find a seller first is that a chicken or the egg question yeah i guess there is no wrong answer. There is no there right is, answer. You know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? I always used to say the rooster. But if I have a tenant buyer already or an investor already, and I call somebody with a home on the market that I scraped, I call from Craigslist, I, they called me up, somebody with a property. I can call somebody on the expired list and say, I have got an investor. I have got a tenant buyer right now for your property. Imagine November 1st, you get a check every month instead of having that empty property. I am ready to do business right now, Mr. Walker. I think that's the Mount Everest of pattern interrupts. Yeah. Think yeah. I've got a buyer right now. I've got an investor right now. What do you think of that take on just maybe focusing on the solution to the problem? Already people who advertise for rent or for sale, or you find out they're in foreclosure behind in their payments, probate, whatever, already they have a problem. If you've done your marketing to find these people and then present them in the first 30 seconds, hey, Mr. Walker, would you like to sell your home today? I got John and Mary here. They'll qualify for FHA in about six to 12 months if we can mm-hmm. structure this as a rent to own. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be interested in getting your full price today and doing a deal and getting this problem off your back. Would you, sir? It's okay to say no to me. Oh, no, absolutely. I'm interested. Thank you, gentlemen, sir. Can we go on Zoom or FaceTime if you have an iPhone? I'd like to meet you. I'd like to, I'd like to ask you a few questions. You ask me a few, and then I'm going to make you an offer, and maybe we can solve this problem right now. Uh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. That's really? That is the way a gut salesman speaks in the first 30 to 60 seconds. 